Hey YouTube. <clears throat> so I started another uh, started another Santa Maria grill. It's actually for a customer. He wants to buy two of them. He wants to buy the one I've had at my house for a couple years. I've been using it. I I'm giving him a discount on that one because it is used. Like I said, it's getting kind of rusty and stuff like that. But uh, he also wants me to build him a new one, and uh, that's what I'm doing now. So I guess about a week, maybe two weeks ago, I got this far on it. I made the sides, got the bottom, got the legs on it, got the uh, swivel casters with the brakes, okay, all four of them have brakes on them. And I made the hoop for the handle that's gonna turn the crank that raises and lower the grill. So <clears throat> now I basically have everything else left to do. I'm cutting this uh, 3 16 one inch flat bar so I can put it across here and brace the legs and I'm gonna cut that out and I'm gonna cut the two vertical posts that uh, guide the grill and I'm gonna cut a piece of angle iron that brace those two posts so that's all gonna go on the top but while I've got my saw out um, I'm going to go ahead and cut all those pieces so I can get them welded up and just make some progress on it today. So, anyway, that's what I got so far. Here we go. What's up guys it's Dennis here from do it all garage I just wanted to this is basically the last part of my video where I'm just showing you the finished product here on my Santa Maria pit again this is for a customer I don't know if I mentioned that before it's for a customer in New Braunfels Texas he's buying my used one and he wanted me to build him a new one as well but so here it goes this is basically how it works and I'll do a close-up in just a minute about as far as it goes up and then you can raise this handle right here and it'll go down so that's pretty much how they work it's gonna get wiggly let me go over a few things so I used uh, one inch square tubing on this all stainless hardware I uh, welded a uh, horseshoe on there for extra weight and for looks I think they look really cool 
pretty popular thing here in Texas, I guess. Uh, this two inch, eighth inch thick uh, piece of uh, angle iron is basically going across those posts just to support it and keep it from moving. I uh, got these pillow blocks. They're three quarter inch bearings. This is three quarter inch round stock right here. I've got three sixteenths flat bar for the spokes on this wheel. And then I've got, uh, what is this, half inch rod right here. Half inch round stock, whatever you want to call it. Same thing over here with the pillow block. All stainless hardware once again. Uh, I've got eighth inch galvanized steel cable there. I did a little bit different this time. Instead of just uh, running this cable up through that hole and pinching it off, and the same thing over here, I did it this way. I've seen it done before, and I was like, why do they do that? Well, it's basically so after years of use, if this cable stretches for any reason, then you can pull it to one way or the other and level the grill out so it won't be sitting like that. You can always level it out. So uh, 3 16th wall two inch uh, square tubing for those uh, stand up posts there. Same over here. Got, I believe that's eighth inch, two inch square, or uh, the hell you call that, angle iron. Um, got the carabiners, you know, got the little hardware on here. Got a liner in here, I can't remember what that's called, but uh, for that little crimp right there, it's a crimping tool, but there's a name for it. It starts with a B, I think, and I can't remember the name of it right now, but it's basically a big crimping tool. I got a piece of 3 16 one inch wide flat bar going across there for support. Um, so, got three inch steel casters on it. All of them swivel, all of them have locks. I uh, cut this piece out. I only put two notches on it. That's uh, really all it needs in my opinion. You can make it as fancy as you want and as difficult to make as you want, but it's just not necessary to me. So I'm gonna raise the, raise the grill up. Now, one of the, on the last one I did, I made a uh, grate like that, like a charcoal grate. This one I made a, an actual log rack. So. You could use either one. I mean, this thing, it's my low profile design. The walls are only about five inches high. So uh, it's gonna get plenty of airflow in there. If I make it any deeper, I'll have to cut a hole in the bottom and cover it up with something so airflow can get from underneath it. But this design's fine. Uh, and it was a lot faster to uh, make that log rack as well. And I got it locked in there basically this rod sits in between these two posts so it can't move side by side and those rods over there they touch against that part and same with these so it's not it's not moving so and then these i just took some uh quarter inch round stock as well cut them three and a half inches angled them out and welded them together and welded them to the angle iron same thing on that side and this grill is totally removable. It's easily removable. And uh, that way, if you're just using it as a fire pit or cleaning it or whatever, uh, you can do that really easily. So anyway, so that's my pit. I'm sorry I didn't get as much footage as I wanted. I've just I've been crazy busy lately. And I really just didn't feel like setting my camera up and taking the extra time to do it. I was kind of scrambling for time to get this thing done. So. Uh, hopefully on the next one, I'll get some more footage of it some more detailed footage, but uh, anyway, I hope y'all like it and uh, Hopefully I'll be building some more in the future So if you like it go ahead and comment on it if you like and uh, ask any questions you want and Hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it and subscribe if you like But thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time